Our group is called uh, Phenomenal Young Youth Group and uh, the, the youth group is uh, the thing and you behind all these projects and you tafanya mtaani. And I, as uh, being the founder, we saw here the, the need of uh, starting something in our society and that is uh, a library. Like uh, there, is, there, there has been a, a, a leakage in our society more so when you talk about education. And uh, that is something that has been so very challenging. I growing up, uh, you'd see like in most informal settlements, there kuna kwa gana libraries. Ukienda madhari, ukienda kibra, uko ilia zote kuna kwa gana library. But we sat down again and saw kwa, kwa mta yetu, hakuna place enye kuna laibu. So unapata like, even mite menye nilikuwa na grow, I used to go all the way to Boroburu, ndio niweze ku access laibu because kwa mtaito akuja kwa na library. So we saw the need, why again should our young people suffer, yet we want to bring a difference in our society. So during the COVID period, we decided uh, we ourselves with our own funds, sisi wenyewe kwa wenyewe, with our own funds, we decided to take a, a, a small space. It's a mini space. Our vision is like, uh, the space is small, but the vision is big. So we took a place whereby to come to Kuleta Funds Pamoza, and uh, we decided to construct a community-based library, whereby uh, um, on a daily basis, what we are doing is we are going to kufanya homeworks zao. Na pia kuna some few books, few books zenye wanakamigi hapo sa zengine kawa na dai, wana boro. And, uh, and it, it has been of great impact so much kwa society yetu. Because Moso during the holidays, during the holidays, you'd find like on a daily basis kulikuwa na watu walikuwa na kamigi hapo. And uh, manze when you see the smiles zenye zina kwa, kwa faces zao, that is something that motivates you to continue and continue and continue kufanya kinyo unafanya. Because ata sa zengine unapata mungina nasema, yo, kwetu watoto ni wengi, siwezi soma, vitu kama hizo. So unapata this space is actually helping them so, so much. And uh, I'd wanna appreciate like uh, peer venye tunapata guysy books. Unapata there are people who watch what you are doing on the social media platform and they are really motivated, like they really appreciate the kind of work that we are doing. So we always have what you call the book drive whereby just drop a book kwa ofisi zetu hapa majengo and uh, the book will go in a hand to ensure that mtu mmoja amepata hiyo book. And uh, it's something that has been imekuwa advantageous sana because unapata hata ile time yenye mademu walikuwa labda wanaenda huko naongelelea mostly was watu wa Raima walikuwa unapata during the holidays hawa watu wengi wapata mtaani maybe wame and it's so unfortunate because venye venye mtaeto kumekuwa like na drugs sana unapata hata msia kitumia drugs aoni that uni mtu ime dogo unapata mbaba tu like an approach mtu yeye ndio like god huku ni ni wapi tunaenda so unapata hii time rather than now to iwa kwa labda huko kwa magrao au areas zingine wa kizurura wanakaa kwa laibu wanasoma and it's something they need me kwa help sana even when you see their smiles manze ndio kitu important at the end of the day So the, key, the thing that uh, keeps me going mostly is um, whenever I see at least not even so many people's lives that we've changed, but just one person's life that we've changed. Unabata most of the time ukitembea barabara, uh, unasikia tu mse amesema yo, pedhe shirima asanti, uli niokolea tu maali. That thing keeps me going sana sana sana. Not only that, but ili time enyo unona like, Maybe through our project, kuna boy mwenye may get labda a platform maali, unapata labda kuna msi labda mepata biz maali, na pia hawa si wenye wame grow. Like we've had so many people who are into crime, not only crime, but we've heard also people who are into drugs. But because of the things that we are doing for them, unapata like life yao imezindi kuchange. Zato kichiki repetition yao na mtaani, imekuwa kitu different tena sana. And that thing really challenges me and uh, it motivates me. Not only that, design kitambo, kitambo the rate of young people kwa ngushua was so, so, so high. You define like every week on a daily basis unasikia labda arifia kwa meangushua. Lakini siku hizi unapata like time hao ma youth tumualetanisha wote pamoja, tunaletanisha ideas zetu pamoja, wanazidi kufanya vitu moja mbili tatu, unapata... 
It's something that inspires me to keep on going, to keep on going. Even one thing when I wake up in the morning, I always say, God, just give me another person when we are going to help today. Because it's not about how many people's life you're changing, but it's just about that one person when you may bring an impact to life. Yake. Since I began this project, Manze, like I, I actually felt like life young women change in one way or another. Because um, no matter how little thing you do outside here, Manze, and uh, it's an inspiration because uh, the kind of exposure that I always get, Manze, it is even beyond my imagination. Yani. So Napata Yani Shirima, Shirima Uki Janatua Majengo. Even though someone ni taga, she didn't make jana majengo. And uh, kitu crazy ni kuna ita menyo asona semaga kuomoka. So na pata because as in the project has actually brought a real difference in me, not only in me, but people saying you kunyana semaga tio she didn't make omoka bitu kama hizo because of the places that they always see me. You see, I coming from majengo and uh, being able to sit at. Um, at big seats, let me say big seats, being able to sit at uh, maybe even royal places is something in Yimikua, it can motivate tena tena sana. Like, um, I never imagined that at a certain moment I'll be someone maybe giving speeches at the American Embassy, Kusu Visions, or Siwa Kije. I never thought that maybe personally in Dakua, a platform at the United Nations, as in it's on a panel of, uh, eh, wase wenye omoka, wase wenye. They've already made it in their life and, uh, they're, they're just all there listening to you, listening to what you're doing, and they're there motivating you. Not only that, like a project in Patia an exposure, not only an exposure, but also like a, a network with so many people around the world. So yes, uh, one thing in me ujua and one thing that I believe is that kitu kizuri, no matter what lazima kitenji uza. Whatsoever that is good, no matter what happens, it will always sell itself. So um, I want to appreciate Pia Gavayetu in as much as Bado Sisi Ndo Tuna Kamba Sana, we've seen them coming in hand to support us. As in, they've, they've all supported this project. Design in a project, see Angu. E project, when I began, I thought it was mine. But it is even beyond Shirima. This project, it is even beyond Shirima. This project, it is even beyond Shirima. So far, we have almost 200 people who benefit from this project. We have a lot of people who benefit from this I'm very, very happy because there are some who even got scholarship or kind of so master in filmmaking at a certain institution. And that is a plus for us. Um, one thing that's for sure, uh, it hasn't been easy and uh, never ever do I wake up in the morning thinking that it will be easier than how it was yesterday. But every day I just wake up in the morning motivating myself that I can do it. No matter how hard things get, I can do it. Because at most of the time, challenges peers me kwa kibao, mara mob to me kwa even kwa situation whereby we want to stop uh, these things in tunafanya. But again, we sit down and think, it's not worth it. Like, uh, if we give up right now, why did I start, first of all? Why did I start in the beginning? So you see, like, uh, Nikiona, like, Pia, like, uh, Madi Mwenyetuna inspire. Because not only that, another thing Pia Nyetpia Tunafanya Kwa Hii Society Yetu is that every month, uh, kuna Madi Mwenyetuna Patiaga Free Sanitary Towels. We have a database of almost 70 girls that get sanitary towels from our project. Na hizo mbado ni dozetu zenye tumetoa, na pia, kuna pia, I want to appreciate pia Red Cross, they are so much who help to ensure that pia tunafanya kini tunafanya, na pia, awe siwe kidogo kidogo wenye nakama na contribute into the project. So unapata, um, it's not easy. Iyo ndo nezambia mavijana na madim, na msiyo yote hapo inje. No matter what you want to do, usiangalia ti success enye na kamaraka, apana. Sisi tumekuwa hapa, almost sayi ni two years, uh, since we registered and but we've been here like almost like five years even. Na still to run, when you to run, na kitu to inspire me that uh, we have a goal and our mission is that 
we want to eradicate poverty through education and filmmaking to eradicate poverty through education and filmmaking so that one person when you learn once you get knowledge and once talent yake may grow um itamsaidia pia yeye uko mbele aweze ku make it kwa life yake so where whatever you are doing manze just keep on believing yourself and i always say life is all about the abcds you have the ability and you ought to believe in yourself challenges lazima zikuwe and never lose determination in so in whatsoever that you are doing kwa life yako okay.